record and edit a digital piano with GarageBand. Have you ever wondered how to connect a digital piano or keyboard and capture ideas on your Mac? With GarageBand, it's not difficult to record and edit a digital piano. To get started, you'll need to install GarageBand, which is freely available for any Mac. Sign into the Mac App Store using your Apple ID and download the program. Most digital pianos are natively compatible to connect with a Mac through an interface known as MIDI. Over the past decade, USB-based keyboards have become the most commonly found type. Digital pianos, as well as MIDI controllers, will often have a USB Type-B port along the back. Keyboards use a cable that is USB Type-B on one end and USB Type-A on the other. Since newer Macs are only shipping with USB Type-C ports, you may need a dock to connect the other end of your keyboard cable to the Mac. Recording in GarageBand. Launch GarageBand. Select Empty Project. This reveals the Templates page and choose Software Instrument. GarageBand launches and an instrument track is pre-configured and ready to record. But before we start recording, there's a few settings to check out. The instrument can be changed from the default e-piano. Use the library panel in the far left to browse different instruments available. The grand piano can be found under Piano, Steinway Grand Piano. A metronome icon can be found along the top, which can be useful for keeping time when I'm playing. And the default tempo for a track is 120 beats per minute. And this can be changed by double clicking on the speed value and typing in a new value with the keyboard. If you can't hear a sound or a sound is coming out of the wrong speakers, for instance, coming out of your Mac instead of your headphones, go to menu bar, GarageBand, preferences, audio slash MIDI, output device. This panel controls which speakers the software will use. Press the red record button in the upper transport to start recording the performance. Now that the performance has been recorded, it's time to start editing. Click the scissors icon along the top to reveal the piano roll editor. You may have to click on the event in the upper timeline first for the piano roll to appear. This view along the bottom offers greater detail than the standard timeline. And the scale can be adjusted with the slider in the upper right of the panel. As the scale is changed, the values on the time ruler are adjusted to show greater detail. Recording music in this manner is often referred to as a virtual instrument. My performance was recorded in the software, but every single time I press play on the computer, which is spacebar by the way, the computer recreates the performance live. The recorded notes appear on this horizontal and vertical graph. The longer the note is horizontally, the longer in time it is played. The higher up on this graph the note rests, the higher in pitch the note is played. To adjust an individual note, hover your mouse at the end or beginning of any event and wait for the mouse icon to change into a trim icon. Click and drag to extend or collapse the note. I'm going to click through this performance and make sure all these left-hand bass notes start at the beginning of the bar and run for the duration that I need. This section is really off. I've hit many wrong notes. To delete a wrong note, click on the wrong note and press delete on the keyboard. Or adjust a wrong note to hit the correct key by dragging the note up or down on the piano roll. You can also draw in new notes by holding command down on the keyboard 
and the mouse pointer turns into a pencil icon. Click in the piano roll editor where the new note is to occur. Again, the entire performance has been captured as a software instrument, which is also known as a virtual instrument. The piano sounds are being generated live during playback as the MIDI data is sending instructions to the Mac. So we can change our piano to a different instrument after the recording. To change the instrument type, check out the library panel on the far left and navigate through the instrument banks. The electric pianos are quite nice, as are the synthesizers. To change the piano to a sci-fi Blade Runner type sound, go synthesizer, bell, soft synth bells. I think this preset's really great, but I can really do a lot more with it. Sounds can be edited further using the transform presets, such as choral, or synth. and the attributes of the synthesizer can then be edited within the controls panel, such as adjusting the cutoff or the resonance. Nearly 20 years after its first release, GarageBand remains the best entry-level way to compose music. Once you've mastered GarageBand and are interested in taking your songs to the next level, it's worth noting that GarageBand songs can be upgraded to Logic Pro to unlock more editing tools and to fully flesh out your recordings. Thank <laughs> you.